please consider subscribing. Don't forget to press the notification bell. You will always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Thank you so much for tuning in this channel. The new subscribers, don't forget to press the bell icon. It will be the only way that will be updated when we get something new, when we upload a new video. For the returning subscribers, thank you so much. We are trying to explore the new opportunities in the Gulf countries. Remember, most of the benefits people would not know that money or salaries in the Gulf countries are tax-free. The way you get your money is the way it's paid to you. There is no tax at all. This is the only time for us to have this opportunity because we never know what may come after. And how do we use this opportunity? It is just being the first of those when the new law comes, let's adhere to them, we embrace them. In this video, we are still looking at the small, broken down segments of the new UAE labor law that is coming into effect in February 2022. What does the new law say? The new law say very many segments have been broken down. And today's video, we want to try to see what does the law say about death of an employee? And what does the law talk about a person who resigns without notice period? Does this person or is this person entitled to his gratitude? Is this person entitled to his pay? Or if an employee gets to die at the workplace, who will be entitled to the benefits of the deceased? Is there a clear way that the next of kin will get this benefit? Don't go in this video. That's what we are trying to say. Let's get into straight into the video. Let's get what are the entitlements of death of employee and what are the entitlements for a person who resigned without a notice. I'll get through straight into the segment of the law and read to you what the law says. The law says employees employers should pay a deceased employee's spouse or children or a designated by employee all outstanding wages end of service benefits within 10 days from the date of the employee's death it is under how this requirement will interact with the uae inheritance law what does it mean that if you get to lose your life while at the work your employer is supposed to pay all your benefits, all your outstanding, all your outstanding bills or benefits that you are supposed to receive from the employer to your family members in only 10 days. This is quite very interesting. What has been happening today? It has been taking a lot of while for people to compensate for those people's death, and people have ended up leaving their gratitude and no one to cares about. But for the new law that is coming to effect in February 2022, when you get to die at the workplace, forbid dying, when you get to lose your life, your family members will be entitled to all your benefits. All your benefits that you are, you owe that company will all be paid to your family members or your next of kin as agreed or as you put them in your contract. That is very interesting. In scenario one, employees will only be able to resign without giving a notice in case of two scenarios. Remember, the new law permits you to resign without even giving a notice to your employer. But remember, there is also a qualifying requirement that you're supposed to follow before you get to resign. In case I'm to resign without giving a notice to my employer, what could be the underlying factors that may cause me to resign? And we are going to look at what the new law talks about those underlying factors. And this is exactly what we want to give right now. The new law says that a person can only resign without giving his employer a notice. In case, one, in case the employee's non-compliance with their obligation, the employee identifies the IR notifies the Minister of Labor in 14 days before leaving the employer. If the employer fails to rectify the issue, 
then he can resign. You can resign without giving a notice period to your employer. That's if the employer breaches the contract that we signed with him and is not willing to comply or is not willing to come to rectify whatever was being discussed in the contract. So uh, you have to report to the Minister of Labor within 14 days and you can resign without giving a notice period to your employer. In scenario two, in case of what you call harassment and violence, if your employer is doing harassment and violence acts against you, you have a right to resign without giving a notice. That is part of the new labor law which is coming into effect 2020-2022. What does it say? In case of harassment and violence, the employee notifies the Minister of Labor within five working days of being able to do so. And if your employee, if your employer does not comply or does not change, then you can resign without a notice from that employer. And remember, resign or terminated, you will still have to get your benefits as you are end of service gratitude and benefits as per the new labor law that is coming into effect in February. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Hope I've tried to discuss all these elements. It is now up to you to know if I'm going to work in the UAE, if I'm going to work in the seven Emirates of Dubai, what am I supposed to, um, what am I entitled to? If the new law is coming, what am I entitled to? All those segments will clearly give you what you are entitled to. Thank you so much for watching videos on this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. By the way, don't forget to give them a thumbs up, don't give them to share, comment, and always be more than happy to get back to you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.